my name is Stefan Tigges. I have an RSNA a presentation this year about interactive teaching tools using drawing and quizzes to teach anatomy and radiology. And I've been asked to make a very short video uh, giving you some drawing tips that uh, learners who don't consider themselves to be artists can use. And I'm going to start by showing you that I am not an artist. You don't have to be an artist to use these tips. So this is an actual self-portrait. This is how I draw myself. Obviously, I'm using Microsoft Paint to do this, which I don't think any self-respecting artist would use. But you can see that I'm drawing very simply here. And you can do this as well without any problems. In my RSNA presentation, I talk about using the steps of abstraction, simplification, and exaggeration to draw anatomic structures and have medical students draw along with you to learn those anatomic structures. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my self-portrait here. And what we are going to do is we're going to use these techniques of abstraction, simplification, and exaggeration to draw the rotator cuff. Now, I can't draw a scapula this well. This is uh, taken from Gray's Anatomy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to abstract the most important features of the scapula, and then we'll add the muscles of the rotator cuff. I'm going to start with the glenoid, and I'm just going to draw a circle. And it would be great if you guys were to draw along with me. All you need is a, is a pencil and a piece of paper. So here's the glenoid process. The next thing I'm going to do is draw the blade or the body of the scapula. Again, very uncomplicated. Next thing I'm going to do is draw the coracoid process, which is this finger-like process that sticks anteriorly. In fact, you know that this is the anterior portion of the scapula because this is the coracoid process. The next thing that we're going to do is draw the scapular spine in the acromion process. It's like this. And again, you can see that this is not high quality art. This is not Rembrandt or Leonardo. Next, we'll add the muscles. First muscle is gonna be the supraspinatus muscle. And we know that's the supraspinatus muscle because it's superior to the scapular spine. Inferior to the scapular spine is the infraspinatus muscle and below the infraspinatus muscle is the teres minor muscle. Anterior to the scapula is the subscapularis muscle, which is right here. And what I do is I have the medical students draw along with me as I draw these structures in class. I do this 15 times and in the uh, uh, RSNA presentation, I go over how to draw the larynx. So that was simplification and, uh, and abstraction. What about exaggeration? Well, the part of the rotator cuff that's going to tear the, uh, the earliest is going to be the supraspinatus tendon. Why is that? In a lot of cases, it's because there are spurs sticking off of the bottom of the acromion process. And we can exaggerate that by drawing spurs in the shape of teeth coming off of the uh, acromion process, and we can even make things look meaner by putting a little face there, and we can make an angry face by adding uh, eyebrows. So this is the process that I used to draw. Obviously, I'm not an artist. I abstract, I simplify, and I exaggerate. I hope you watch my entire uh, video, and if you like, you can follow me uh, on Twitter, at Stephen Tiggs. Thank you.